and welcome back to the 8th part of the course in which we will be making the blade of the ancients from scratch using blender. In the last video we learned how to use different grab brushes such as these ones. Let me just move my reference so we can see it more clearly. And with them we defined these parts right here that we didn't add previously with modeling. So today let's continue sculpting the general shapes and lines which we'll define of course with smoothing and later on I will also show you something useful and this is this is right here the crease brushes. I will show you what they do and how can they help us with our process in general. So let's continue where we left off. So if I press 1, I can see my reference image. And now we can see we traced it very nicely. But what I want to focus on now is, if I zoom in, you see these parts here. So I like to think that this is wood. And you can see here, for example, is one part and you can see the other right here. So, And on our blade it looks a bit flat, so we also want to make handle, this part of the handle, more round and more pronounced. So why don't we start with smoothing these edges, so you can press on the smooth brush or just hold shift while smoothing. Enable the screen cast skills and then let me just increase my radius with F. Oh, well now that I realize, let me just move this up so you can see the screen cast keys. So, for example, let me press, sh yes, it works. Let's just increase this. Let's smooth it a bit. Okay. As you can see now, I'm removing the mesh and making it look a bit skinnier. And in order to balance that, we can just draw the line, for example, like here. That will give it thickness on this part. Make sure it's mirrored on the y-axis. Then we can do the same thing for here. So just draw a line. And you can see now it's getting a bit more rounder. We need to do it, for example, also here. And then, once you've drawn a few lines, feel free to remesh again at 0.01 voxel size. And do remember how to focus on an object or a certain part of it. By pressing Alt and then by holding Alt and pressing middle click, we call focus on the part of the object. And if for some reason that doesn't work for you, it's because you don't have the, this option enabled. So because I use uh, my drawing tablet, I have this option enabled. So if I go into input, this ML3 button mouse, it changes some of my key bindings, such as the bindings we use to move around the viewport. And in this case, I think it changes this one too. So if it's not working, then at least you know the reason. But you can also use the ML3 button grab with mouse, no problem. And for me, it's much easier to move that way because I've been, I've been learning that way for a long while. Okay, let's continue with sculpting. So let's smooth these parts like this. First, we want to get the round shape. And after we do just that, we'll get to defining these parts here where the mesh isn't symmetrical. And, well, while we're doing it, let me talk to you more about symmetry. So, symmetry is also, it's so much easier to do symmetrical objects. For example, when I mean symmetrical, I mean the objects that are symmetrical on the x-axis. Other words, that are, from example, if this side is the same as this side. Let me just do this real quick. With. So this is a symmetrical object. And it's much easier to do them because in the later process, the so-called retopology 
that prepares the models for game industries and other usages, it will be much easier to retopologize in that process. But we'll be doing this model so you can learn a bit faster and better how it works. So we are worrying that we're doing our symmetry on the y-axis, so these two sides are symmetrical. Because at least two sides need to be symmetrical, so you can do your model properly. Okay, and you can see we are doing this and it's getting to look much better. See here, we can also do the same thing. Be careful not to decrease it too much and remesh it again. Okay, this takes a little bit while, but it's better to do it carefully, more slowly, than to just rush it and need to tweak it a bunch later. So let me just inflate these parts and feel free to pause the video, rewind or watch some of the previous videos if you think I'm going too fast. Okay, so right now I'm happy with the handle because additional tweaking will be done later. Now let's go, let's press 1 and increase our strength a bit. We can lower our radius. Then I will do this. Up here I will draw a line like this. Then I will make sure I surround it. So. First we want to draw a thick line, otherwise an accented line that we are going to later refine. So it's better for you to see it than to make it, for example, this small and miss it. So let's do this. Now let's remesh. So we don't just smooth the whole thing out. Then we just refine it a bit more. Then we will use our trusty smooth brush to make it look better. Remesh again. And now we can increase the radius, go to our smooth brush and I'll decrease the same to 0 0.15, like this. And you can see it's doing exactly what we want, which is smoothing it, while also making it a bit more flat. Let's remesh it again. It's still too aggressive, no problem. Let's smooth it a bit more. We can also use the inflate brush that is located right here to inflate these parts above it so it just doesn't have this sharp angle right, right here. And these sculpting videos might be a bit longer, but as I told you already in the previous videos, I will be covering the whole process of it, so you don't miss anything. And for example, for me, it's much easier when I see what somebody is doing in the course and showing me every step than just someone making a cut and then being like, hey, it's done. And <laughs> I'm still stuck on the like the first chapter, I remember that. The guy just caught right in the middle of the post and then I was like, what happened? What, what should I do? Here we can use the deflate de direction to make what's called a crease. We can do it like this with a draw brush. Hmm. You can see here, like this. Then let's we'll just refine this a bit more. Remesh it, still not looking quite right. Let's smooth like this. So I pressed one on my keyboard and I began smoothing. So we can also draw like this. Control Z because I didn't like it. We can define a line because you want smooth transitions between some of these parts. For example, we are not doing a the wood, wood is organic, so we want it to be, to have smooth lines and not just awful transitions. The only transitions 
that are going to be spiky are these ones for example but the handle needs to be smooth and it needs to be easy to hold so let's just make it like this remesh hmm. oh watch in this hmm. for example looking like this okay uh, let's remesh it once again I'll just and this is tweaking you just do the same process until you are happy with the result okay here I think it's all right so it smooth a bit like this okay it's fine for now as I tell you we will be doing the more detailed version later let's just but with this part we can see this is much flatter so let's make it like this let's make this part a little bit like this and don't worry if it seems hard to you to read what you what you should do and how to follow your reference don't worry it comes with practice and sometimes uh, it also helps to you if you just zoom out on your model and focus on the whole thing the lines the shapes then you can see for example this is much how to say it's going diagonally much more than this so we can fix that by using the grab brush like this this I just make this okay this is much smaller okay let's remesh it once again and this thing is blocked out and I'm pretty happy right now as you can see we still have these parts here so if you want to let's just go over the these spheres right here to make them not so stuck in the handle now it looks like they are in the handle like someone just poured some clay onto them and now they are stuck there so with this we need to be careful not to accidentally smooth these spheres well you remember when I told you about the creased brushes? Now is the perfect time to introduce them. So, as you can see here, underneath the blow brush, there is this crease brush. So, what crease brush does is it dents a mesh very sharply, much sharper than what we used to do with the draw brush. For example, this is what the draw brush does. And then, if I switch to the crease brush, you can see it's much more refined and you see these so-called squares or planes we can see that it also pinches the vertices that are close to the line we are drawing it makes it much more useful for indenting and creasing than the draw brush and if we use the I invert option it can make ridges as well so but you can see it pinches more inward and makes like this ridge so let's undo this let's continue creasing this bit like here and this is what we want we want the mesh to go in when we remesh it will look much better so let's just remesh and you'll see yes we are getting the shape we can use the smooth brush here remesh once again and to refine these parts we will need a lot more vertices the smaller parts the less vertices they originally have and less detail they have so for smaller objects like these ones compared to the blade here are much smaller and for them we need a bigger voxel size of course we just get rid of this block also it 
It's annoying me, really. I'll do this like to make it like round with the press one. Let's crease it. Let's remesh it. Here let's add some geometry because I think we creased a bit too much. Okay, let's remesh once again. Oh, I want to use the draw brush, yes. And enable the direction the positive way. So. Remesh. And do not worry about your current result. If you don't like it, well, it's still good. It just needs more tweaking. It always does. That's why some say that a 3D model or even animation is never finished. You can always add more frames in an, into animation, more detail into 3D sculpt, more different colors. It's, it's never really finished. And that's the beauty of it. Only you can decide where, whether you like it or not, or you should want to do more tweaking. Yeah. For example, I'm making this a bit rounder. Let's make it like this. And what view is here useful is if we press 7, we have this top view. We can also see, for example, we need some more vertices here. Well, top view can be messy, but sometimes it can help. So different views, different things you, the spots you need to tweak. Okay, like this. Maybe, let's move this and this, then make like this. Smooth it a bit, remesh it, you know the drill. Okay, no, I'm, I'm happy. No, I'm not happy. Wrong. I want this to be creased. So we go to our crease brush and then enable the minus direction, negative direction, whatever you want to call it. And let's crease this a bit because this is also sphere. It does not transition into a block. You see the edges here, remesh. And you don't need to remesh that often, but it depends on how you want to work. I like to remesh just to see how my geometry will in the end line up. And now that we are on the crease brush, let's as well make this part. So, okay, let me zoom in so you see it better. You can see that this part is like in inverse crease. So, in order to make it more pronounced, we can go to the crease, enable the positive direction, and Crease this. Then use negative crease here underneath it to separate it from these cubes and remesh once again. Okay, I'm liking this right now. So, what we are also going to do the same thing we did to make our handle around. I want to do at least for these parts in this video. So they are also not square, nothing square, especially this foot. So you can see here, we also have these wood lines, let's say. That we will do later, but now we need to refine these parts. I will, I will maybe also do these spikes, because with the grab brush, in other words, the snake hood brush, we can make these things easy. Well, of course, not that way. You're not just going to whoop. It looks like a bird. Okay, I'll do that. So let's go here. You can just select the draw brush, then press hold shift to smooth, and then you can just roll and smooth. It's much easier that way. So let's continue smoothing this part. We want to be careful not to smooth the 
parts like this that are have some shape already because we don't want to lose that shape that we got with blocking out in our edit mode. So first I want to crease like this. Then I will add some geometry here. For that you can also use the inflate brush, but for smaller areas I like to use the draw brush. Okay. You see this, this one is much easier because we have symmetry on this part. Okay. Remesh. Let's do the same thing for this part. Make it a bit more round. Trace the so-called spine of it. Remesh. Then we can go to the front view with one. For example, zoom in, you can see the line goes like this, it goes wavy, but here we have like this thing we want to smooth so it trans transitions more accurately. Okay, this part we want to smooth. We want to actually draw here. Then, okay, let's remesh. This, this looks good. Of course, this part we will refine later so it doesn't look as blobby as it looks here. So we want it to be flat since this is like a belt or wrap around our handle. And we will do that with the flattened brushes. For now, I just continue doing what we already know. So let's move this a bit. We can do this so we don't lose our ridge remesh. Okay, a bit less pronounced. So I just move this. Okay, I like this. Now let's use our crease brush, enable the positive direction, and let's do this line that goes across it. So. Let's make it smaller and draw a line. Hmm. Let's make the strength a bit stronger. So let's make the strength, I'll put it to 0 0.4 and see what it does. Okay, good. But as you can see, we still don't have enough geometry to do a proper line. So let's do the same thing on the other side, just to refine it a bit better, that we know that line is going to be there, like this. Then let's do the same thing here, make this part of the handle more round. Oh, oops, let's go to draw. And if you can see, the strength is separate for all brushes. On the draw brush, I have the strength of 0 0.4, on the smooth brush, 0 0.15. And if you see, the others are D for like 500 or 600, but differences, radius is the same for all the brushes. For example, if you set it like 152, it is the same for the blow brush for the scrape brush or any other. Okay, let's move this. Okay, then this part here, remesh, draw, remesh. And after that, just a little bit more tweaking. Let's make this line, this line. And well, in the next one, as you can see now, if I get closer, my brush is this side. If I get further, my brush is now bigger than the whole mesh. We'll talk about that in the next episode. Because there are some interesting concepts Blender has to offer. And we did our handle. And you can see our blade now looks more refined. 
I want to thank you all for watching. Please consider sharing, subscribing and supporting me so I can make more courses for you and teach new stuff you will, you will be glad to know about Blender. So, see you in the next one. Bye bye.